Hey guys, I'm Leah Nicole. If you're new, welcome. So today we have a case about a 30-year-old mom that was trying to walk away from a relationship that took a huge toll on her for months. Jamila Smith is currently missing and her family is desperate for answers. Must they all they be creeping? Now don't you close your eyes? Jamila Smith, also known as Millie, was a 30-year-old woman from Aiken County in South Carolina. She was known for her bubbly spirit, beauty, and loving nature. She was a devoted mother to her two children, whom she deeply loved. After high school, she pursued a career as a hairstylist and dedicated herself to honoring her craft. Family and friends described Jamila as a precious gem and a loyal friend. Her loyalty extended not only to her friends, but also to love. Jamila was in a relationship with Daniel Harmon. They had a child together and she made great efforts to maintain the relationship. However, Daniel had a troubled past with charges of domestic violence, assault, and battery. Despite his history with the law, Jamila believed that Daniel could change. Some women believed that their love could transform a person. Even though their relationship seemed positive, at first it maintained that image, but after a while it was clear that Daniel started displaying signs of violence towards Jamila. Jamila's family quickly realized that Daniel was physically abusing Jamila. During one altercation, Jamila had to call the police on him because Daniel choked her and caused bruises. Daniel would often harm himself after arguments with Jamila, even threatening to kill her and then himself. It was very evident that Daniel was mentally unstable and quite dangerous. Jamila attempted to leave Daniel multiple times, but he would always find a way back into her life. There was also an incident where Daniel and Jamila took their son to a fair and Daniel tried to bribe an employee to let their son go on a ride despite being too short. This situation escalated involving the police and Daniel began to threaten the co-worker. The police had to use a taser on Daniel to calm him down. Jamila may have also been handcuffed because she was trying to calm the situation but it backfired. It was evident that Daniel had some serious issues. On December 2nd, 2023, Jamila called her mother Tina around 3 p.m crying hysterically, stating that Daniel threw her phone out the window. She explained that Daniel got upset with her and things just escalated. Prior to this incident, the couple had been on a trip to a car dealership in Columbia, South Carolina. They got into a fight during the trip and Jamila later returned to her apartment around 6 p.m. Hours later, around 8 p.m., Jamila called 911 while she was at home. Daniel had broken into her apartment. She ended up running down the street in an attempt to get away from Daniel. That's when he got inside his car and hit her. But before we jump into today's case, I want to take a moment to thank Aura for sponsoring today's video. Have you ever Googled your name and found all of your personal information online, such as your address, phone number, or even emails on public listing websites? It can be quite frustrating, not to mention the spam messages and annoying phone numbers that come along with it. Well, with Aura, you don't have to worry about that anymore. With Aura, all of that will be fixed. Aura is able to identify brokers who expose your information online. The Aura app gives you control over your personal data, offers parental controls, run antivirus software, runs VPNs, and provides identity theft insurance on all of your devices, all for an affordable price. Aura is always on working hard to keep my personal information safe, allowing me to focus on other tasks with 
peace of mind. I value my privacy and you should too. So go to Aura.com slash Leah to start your two-week free trial or click the link in the description box below. Thank you again so much Aura for sponsoring today's video. Now let's jump back into today's case. Jamila was screaming at Daniel to leave her alone. And in the background on the phone call, you can hear Daniel telling her to just get in the car. And Jamila told the operators that Daniel hit her with his car and she felt unsafe. She also mentioned that she couldn't feel her arm and that he repeatedly ran her over with his car. She then screamed at Daniel telling him no. And then the phone line disconnected. Jamila's mother, Tina, reported Jamila missing the next day when she didn't come to pick up her son. This is when Tina realized something was wrong. When investigators arrived at Camilla's apartment, they discovered that one of Jamila's windows was broken and her front door had a footprint on it, suggesting that someone tried to break in. They also found her car keys on the ground. The police then searched for Daniel as the main suspect and were able to locate him. They examined his car and noticed that there was blood on his tires that matched Jamila's DNA. Daniel was then arrested and charged with kidnapping and domestic violence. Additionally, investigators were able to recover Jamila's cell phone, which showed no activity since December 2, 2023, the same day she was run over and then went missing. After the night of December 2nd, Jamila Smith has not been seen and is currently missing. Jamila's family is actively involved in her case and is eager to find answers and to locate her. They have offered a $10,000 reward to the public for any information leading to Jamila Smith's whereabouts. The family also expressed their frustrations with the lack of assistance from the investigators. One officer even told the family, well, this is what happens when you run around with these type of people. The family believes that Daniel is responsible for Jamila's disappearance. We offer a $10,000 reward that anybody know any type of information to call in and let somebody know something. It's been more than two weeks and now an increase in reward money for the location of Jamila Smith, known as Millie, to loved ones. Monday, the 30-year-old Mother's Family and Missing Persons Organization Broken Link Foundation sent a message to Aiken County Sheriff's Office. At this time, the family is requesting that SLED take over Jamila's investigation removing Aiken County Sheriff's Office entirely from the investigation. We are also asking that the FBI step in and assist. Smith, who has two young children, last spoke to her mother around 7 o'clock Saturday, December 2nd. That same night, she called 911 to report her ex-boyfriend. 34-year-old Daniel Harmon showed up at her home. She ran down the street to get away from him. While police arrested and charged Harmon a few days later in North Augusta with kidnapping and domestic violence, there have been no signs of Smith, and loved ones say they can't get any answers. Nothing has been said, nothing has been done. Um, we've been, you know, left to do our own thing. The investigators are communicating with uh, key individuals of the family. Um, I believe Ms. Smith's mother, father, um, a couple other relatives, the specifics, I don't know. Smith's family says the abuse can be dated back to August with email exchanges between investigators and Jamila. News Channel 6 obtained the 100-page incident reports that date back to the same time, all showing Harmon's early trouble with the law and the couple's violent relationship. The last deputy call to the couple's domestic dispute in November revealed the deputy believed Harmon choked and scratched her, noting dried blood on his nails. Daniel Harmon is an abuser. He has a rap sheet more than a mile long, but always seems to weasel his way back into population. We do know beyond a shadow of a doubt that Jamila was screaming for help. The ones that she was supposed to be able to trust to help her and save her failed her. 
Loved ones want to search the areas between where Smith lived and where Harmon was arrested along with properties they believed he owned in the CSRA. While Smith's children are with their grandmother, family members say she and Jamila's father are distraught and they aren't sure they will make it without her as the holidays approach. Her mom told me, she says, I don't know if I'm going to survive this. Investigators arrested her ex, 34-year-old Daniel Harmon, days after Jamila Smith went missing, charging him with kidnapping and domestic violence. He's still in jail tonight. Fortunately, Jamila's family did not get the news they were hoping for this holiday season. According to an affidavit released on Saturday, this investigation went from a missing person's case to now being a homicide's case. And an arrest warrant is revealing new details as to why. Deputies found Daniel Harmon on December 5th at a house in North Augusta leading to a search warrant. On that same property, in the front yard, they also found the missing Dodge Charger with blood in the trunk. They sent that off to be tested, and you can see the results of that test are redacted. But they received the results December 23rd and upgraded Harmon's charges to murder the same day. The arrest warrant also says, based on the information, investigators believe Harmon hit Jamila with a vehicle and did not take her to the hospital. She hasn't been seen since December 2nd, and Jamila's last phone call to 911, she said her ex-boyfriend broke into her house and was chasing her down the road. On the call, Jamila sounds like she is out of breath. A car engine is heard revving. Jamila is screaming. The phone appears to drop, and a male is heard telling Jamila he will take her to the emergency room. Jamila continues to scream, don't hurt me, and you hit me. The phone call ended, but she never made it to the hospital. Family has been trying to reach Jamila since that day, searching her last known location, but they have had no contact with her. Jamila's phone shows no activity since December 2nd. Jamila also sent hundreds of emails to the Aiken County Sheriff's Office, documenting abuse with pictures and asking for help against Daniel since August 2023. However, she never received a response or any help. The person, one thing about it, I know she loved her kids. You love her kid. That's all she talk about. And she loves singing. Friends fondly share about Jamila Smith. The 30-year-old mother of two young sons has not been heard from since the evening of Saturday, December 2nd, when she spoke on the phone with her mother. She called me from his phone around 3, and she said, Daniel threw my phone out of the window on I-20. An Aiken County incident report tells us that Smith's mother, Tina McCraw, had police conduct a welfare check December 3rd, and that's when she learned her daughter was missing. The day prior, she says her daughter's ex-boyfriend and father to her youngest child, 34-year-old Daniel Harmon, was going car shopping with her in Columbia, South Carolina, when an argument turned into him throwing that phone out the window. They returned to Augusta around 6.30, the last time she spoke with Smith. But we didn't find out about the domestic violence um, until around this time last year. Records News Channel 6 uncovered confirmed the history of domestic violence. In November, Aiken County Sheriff's Office responded to a domestic situation at Smith's home in Jackson, where deputies saw evidence that Harmon choked and scratched Smith, citing dried blood on his fingernails. That deputy petitioning a domestic charge against Harmon. She would call me uh, upset. She... You know, we, we will see her with bruises. The last day Smith was heard from, Aiken County Dispatch received a call from a woman they later learned was Smith. She said her ex-boyfriend showed up and she ran down the street to get away. She screamed and Dispatch heard a man saying, get in a vehicle and a horn blowing before complete silence. The sheriff's office located Harmon, who was also missing, and arrested him Tuesday at a home on Carpentersville Road in North Augusta. Its loved ones say, despite rumors online, she was not the aggressor in the relationship, but the victim trying to save herself and her children. Millie is very caring, loving, funny. I don't know what they're trying to paint about her, his family, that she's some drug addict. I know everybody's seen this video of them at the fair, but she was, he had got into it and she was just trying to diffuse the situation. Jamila Smith is a black woman, 5'3", 107 pounds, with black hair and brown eyes. Anyone with information on where she might be should contact the Aiken County Sheriff's Office at 803-648-6811. Unfortunately, 
Jim Miller's case is currently labeled as murder. And I sincerely hope that investigators are able to obtain camera footage from that same street where Daniel and Jamila were last seen or footage from a neighbor's ring cam. This footage may help locate where Daniel put Jamila and where she was last seen. Investigation, Smith saying he feels there is a lack of communication and any action in finding his daughter. We offer a $10,000 reward that anybody know any type of information call in and let somebody know something. Monday morning, James Smith offering thousands in reward money to help find his daughter, Jamila Smith. Mm -hmm. Nearly a dozen of the young woman's family members gathering alongside members of the Broken Link Foundation outside the Aiken County Sheriff's Office pleading for SLED to take over the case with the help of the FBI. Jamila's family says there hasn't been any communication and thinks the Sheriff's Office isn't taking the case seriously. But one was told by an investigator, when you run with these kind of people, this is what happens. Nakin County Sheriff's spokesman tells Watch Fox News they haven't withheld anything from Smith's family. Understanding there's not any lack of communication to key principal per persons um, that are related to Ms. Smith. Authorities say Jamila Smith was kidnapped by her former boyfriend, Daniel Harmon, on December 2nd. She hasn't been seen since. Authorities say Harmon has a long history of domestic violence and mental health issues. Right now, he is in the Aiken County Jail being held on domestic violence and kidnapping charges. When Harmon appeared in court to face those charges on December 6th, he showed very little emotion when Smith's father pleaded with him to tell investigators where Smith is and to stop wasting time. Kimberly Kite with the Broken Link Foundation says she's aware of several emails from Jamila to the Aiken County Sheriff's Office documenting abuse with the pictures and asking for help dating back as far as August 1st. Jamila is a black young mother. And for reasons I cannot understand and I cannot find justification for, that in itself makes her invalid. It's really sad that Jamila is still missing. She leaves behind two sons and the fact that she honestly wanted help for months while being with Daniel but didn't receive assistance from the Aiken County Sheriff's Office is definitely concerning. I want to pray for Jamila's family. Because I believe Daniel knows exactly what happened and is refusing to share the truth. So let's go ahead and pray for this family. Father God, we all come together and we pray for Jamila's family, Lord God. We pray for truth and we pray for your refuge, Father, Lord God. I pray, Father, Lord God, that they sit under your wings and you provide refuge. I pray, Father, Lord God, Psalms 91 over this family, that they will not fear. They will not fear the terror of night, but they will be under your protection, Father, Lord God. That, Father God, when you call, when they call on to you, you will answer them because you hear their prayers. You know what they need in trouble, Father, Lord God. And I ask you, Father, Lord God, to bring just peace to this family and clarity to this family, Father, Lord God. I pray that what's ever in the dark will come out to the light, Father God. I ask you, Father, Lord God, that you're able to bring closure to her parents, Lord God, to her children, Lord. I pray, Father God, that while they're trying to heal, you show yourself more to this family, Father, Lord God. And I pray just for protection over her boys, Father God. Because while they get older, they might have questions and they just might not understand. And I pray, Father, Lord God, that you hold them. You hold them, Father, Lord God. I ask you, Father God, for protection over my followers, Lord God. I pray for every woman that is dealing with domestic violence right now, Father, Lord God, that has tuned into this channel, Father God. I pray, Father, Lord God, that you become their refuge, Lord God. You become their help, Father, Lord God, when they cry out to you, Father, Lord God. You said in Psalms 91, he who call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Father, Lord God, you said that. Those are your words, Father, Lord God. I pray, Father, Lord God, that you show themselves. You show yourself to them, Father, Lord God. 
I pray, Father God, that you send helpers their way so they're able to get out of abusive relationships, that they're able to start over, Father God, but you're right with them. I ask you, Father, Lord God, to be their peace, to be their help, Father, Lord God, even though it might be hard, even though it might be scared that they're leaving the relationship behind and they might feel like they don't have anything. Like, how can they survive with this person? I pray, Father, Lord God, that you show them who you are, that they could they could they could survive with you, that you will provide all of their needs, Father, Lord God. I pray for your protection, Father God. I pray for your discernment, Lord God. We're living in a time, Father, Lord God, where it, it's very easy to be deceived. And I ask you, Father, Lord God, for your discernment, Father God. I ask you, Lord God, that when you show us the red flags, we listen and we we see it the first time. We don't ignore it. That we stay just watchful and careful, Father God. We ask you, Father, Lord God, for your peace. For your shelter, Father, Lord God, from harm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I thank you guys so much for watching. Please keep Jamila's family in your prayers. And please keep each other in your prayers. Because you don't know what the next person is going through. There's people right now that's watching this video. That's literally sleeping next to someone that is abusing them. And they are scared for their life to walk away. But I pray right now under the sound of my voice. That you will experience God where you at right now. And he will, give, he will give you the strength to leave and protect you. You are God's child. You're his before you are anybody else's. And he will take care of you. He will provide for you. He will make a way for you. But first you have to trust and make that choice. You have to trust and make the choice. And he will do the rest. Guys, please be safe. Please take care of yourself. And I would see you guys in the next case.